Hi and welcome back. Uh, in this video we're going to have a look at the end of the print job uh, where it's finished, you can see in front of you, um, and have a look at the process of getting this cleaned up um, and ready for painting. So basically what I'll do is I'll uh, remove the uh, model from the printer. Um, there's one stage to do before that and that's to actually tilt the um, print bed so that the, res um, the resin that's left over um, can drip off into the resin tank. So I'll just uh, take off the lid, just put the camera down for a moment. There you can see the there's four motorcyclists um, on the print bed. And you can just see the uh, the last of the resin dripping or slowly dripping off. Um, it's been left probably for a good hour or so since it finished. Um, so the majority of uh, the resin has uh, gone back into the resin tank. Uh, what I'll do though, I'll just take, take you through the process of putting on the, the other bracket so you can see uh, the idea behind that. So again, I'll uh, put down the camera and try and do it at an angle so you can see what's going on. Oops. So this is the uh, angle bracket that goes onto the uh, the arm of the uh, printer where the build plate is and it just um, offsets it by I think it's about 45 degrees um, to allow the resin to drip down better. So I'll just do that for you. As you can see, it's now at a 45 degree angle, thereabouts, um, and that should allow the uh, the resin to drip down into the tank. I'm going to speed that process up, just uh, scraping it off with the, the plastic scraper, uh, and then I can show you the process of um, getting it cleaned up in the cleaning station. Let's put the camera down again. Now the resin is not overly expensive, but um, it saves wasting it by scraping it off and also it prolongs the life of your alcohol as well so it's not getting saturated with resin. Uh, what I'll also do is clean off any uh, drips that have fallen onto the printer. So again I'll just use um, a small bit of IPA alcohol and um, kitchen towel. Just helps keep it all clean.
once that's done, um, we can start getting the wash station um, ready. So we'll need the bracket um, for the wash station. Uh, basically what that do is it just fits onto there and then you can undo these two screws and then that you can then lower the build plate into the wash station into the alcohol tank just like that so I'll uh, set that up just turn it around a bit I'll uh, <coughs> move that angle bracket see the, the build plate is now on the bracket for the, the wash station and that basically goes in and onto that like so and then by releasing those two screws you can then lower that into the alcohol tank like so and then it's just a case of turn it on. I don't know if you can see the display, but at the moment it's on cure. So we just change that over to wash. And what I usually do is put it on for four minutes. And then I start. There it goes. That's the uh, alcohol whizzing, whizzing round and that'll clean off the, the print job. All the white stuff that was, um, oh, sorry about the shaky camera, all the white stuff that was um, kicked up by the Impala is the leftover resin from previous prints. Um, and every once in a while I'll uh, expose that in sunlight and um, filter out the, uh, uh, the alcohol, recycle it. I'll just leave that on there to uh, to wash. Let's bring the camera down a bit. There you go. <coughs> now having the um, second spill plate, um, I don't know if you've seen the previous video, but um, one of the accessories that I recommend people get is a second build plate because then while you're waiting for this to be cleaned um, you can get the second build plate onto the printer and carry on printing it you're not having to to wait for the cleanup process um, but uh, I've finished for printing for today so I shall just turn the printer off and put the back on A handy way to clean up the plastic uh, scraper is to just stick that in the, the alcohol tank and um, give it a wipe off with some kitchen towel. Right, after two minutes um, of the washer going, um, it will stop in reverse direction. That's basically what that was.
Right, that's the uh, washing process finished. Just raise the uh, camera up a little bit so you can see it coming out the tank. So basically what I do is undo the screws, bring it up to the top and then just let it drain for a little bit. I won't wait for it to fully um, drip off um, while I'm doing this video because it just takes time. Um, but once it's been sat there for a while, but you can just lift it off and then just shake off any excess. And that's it, it's done. Take off the bracket. there you can see we've got four motorcyclists printed off um, and this is where the uh, supports are very important because um, you haven't got enough supports the print will fail um, from what I can see here that looks pretty good and then it's just a case of um, carefully removing the supports um, and uh, you're left with the motorcyclists um, just watch out for any really small delicate pieces like I think you can just see there um, the barrel of his SMG sticking out to the side um, they are prone to being a bit weak so uh, they can snap off so it's just bearing in mind any weak parts um, when you're taking off the sport once that's done it's a matter of putting into the um, the cura so um, I'll get these um, taken away from the supports in the bed and then I'll do the next video uh, when ready for the curing stage.